Hello everyone, it's Brandon here with another YouTube video. Now this is going to be my Luton Town v Derby County review. Now, <clears throat> Luton went into this game needing some source of points. The game did end. Luton Town 3, Derby County 2. Now, I was happy. I was happy. Okay, I got to see Rooney, nicknamed... Shrek, I don't want to say the other one because it's a bit rude, <clears throat> and I think I'm not going to dis I'm not going to disrespect Wayne Rooney really being the best English striker out there right now with that record that he still holds. But as I'm saying, three two win for Lewin, much needed three points. Now we're getting closer to going out of the relegation zone, but this is where it gets harder because we've got West Brom away on Saturday, the first of February. But now going to this game, I was thinking we might lose yet yeah, again. But we managed to hold off Derby. We managed to hold off Derby for quite a while. Rooney scored a lucky scrappy goal. <clears throat> but Luton came back. Luton came back. And I was happy. Three goal scorers, of course, there was. My mind's gone completely blank. <laughs> but I know Donovan Daniels scored. There was an own goal from Derby County. And I can't remember who else scored. Was it Harry Cornick? I can't, I can't remember who scored the first goal. But <clears throat> I think it was James Collins, actually. I think it was Collo. But yeah. The Chris Martin made it 3-2. Uh, well, Two or one, then Luton made it three two in the end, where the Derby County player scored a lone goal. But yeah, <clears throat> like I said, going into this game, I was nervous. Again, bottom of the league versus Derby County, who beat us at their ground three one. We're gonna we're gonna have another one to struggle considering our form at the moment. But finally, finally, we have three points. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was happy. I got to see Easy Brown finally back on the pitch for a good 10 to 20 minutes. Maybe, I can't remember how long, but Matty Pearson went off injured, so we had to put some players on. That's where Donovan Daniels came on. Uh, I think Harry Cornick went off. <clears throat> I'm not sure. I can't actually remember who came off and who came on. I know Luke Berry came on. But I was happy. I was so happy that Luton finally got three points. Now, we're still struggling in this league, but we've done something. It's every now and then, like seven games, we lose, and then we win one. And then we've, <clears throat> we've got to do something about this. Our away form is absolutely shocking. 11 away games in a row, we've lost. <sighs> the last one, I believe, was Blackburn away. And um, that's quite a while back. <clears throat> but, yeah. Sluga did all right. Pelly, Pelly scored. That's the one. That is it. Pelly scored the first goal. How can I forget that man? That man scored that first goal. He only scores bangers. Just just remember, he only scores bangers. There we go. So it was Penny that scored the first goal. <clears throat> Donovan Daniels with the second. And then Bogle from Derby County scored a lone goal. Rooney for them and Chris Martin for them. Overall, I'm happy with the performance. I thought we were going to uh, draw right at the end. But somehow, I'm happy Luton. <clears throat> kept the three points and didn't concede and um, we didn't draw three all that we did for them but yeah I'm happy with it we're still bottom of the table we're still fighting to keep ourselves in the championship <clears throat> but yeah next game West Brom away the last time we played West Brom away <coughs> was in the cup when we lost 1-0. The last time we played West Brom in a, a league 
I think we lost two one if I'm right for if I'm right West Brom won two one at Killerworth Road. So another hard game coming up, but they have dropped form lately. They've lost to Stoke lately. <clears throat> I can't remember who else they've lost to, but I know they've lost a couple of games one nil. So anything can happen this Saturday. Anything can happen. But I'll be happy if we can get something out of this game. West Brom will look to fight back and get three points to keep themselves in second and first place. Fight with Leeds. Because at the moment it's a bit hectic up there. But yeah, February 1st we face West Brom. Then we've got Cardiff. Then we've got Sheffield Wednesday. <clears throat> then we've got Middlesbrough away. Then we've got Charlton. Then we've got Brentford a day before my birthday. Then we've got Stoke at the end of the month on the 29th. Now, during the 22nd and the 29th, I will be going to three games. I'll be going to Charlton away. I'll be going to Brentford at home. And I'll be going to Stoke at home. Yeah. So, let's try that again. I'll be going to Charlton away. I'll be going to Brentford away. So technically I'm talking about Saturday as well. Brent, Brentford's the 25th. <clears throat> but the 27th, this is where I'm getting at. The 27th, I need to mention it now. I will be going to watch Arsenal and Olympiacos. <laughs> I'll be watching Arsenal and Olympiacos in the Europa League second leg. Now, I don't know when the first leg is but I think it's a week before and I will try my best to watch that as well but like I said this this is my schedule right now I've got the uh, fixtures list still here I'll pick it up now uh, let's see now you can see all this here so I don't know if you can see that well <clears throat> but February West Brom like I said Cardiff Sheffield Wednesday, Middlesbrough away, which I'm not going to, unfortunately, because I'll be working and I'll be earning money. Blah, blah, blah. What the hell was that? Uh, Charlton Athletic, I'm definitely going. Brentford, a day before my birthday, my 24th birthday. And there's Stoke to finish off the month. Going into March, we've got Wigan away on the 7th of March. Preston North End at home. Swansea away on the week weekday. I don't think I'll be going. I don't think I'll be going. Depends. It just depends what's going on with work. If I have the Thursday off, I'll probably go. But I'll see what happens. As of now, thank you for watching my review of Luton Town v Derby County. 3 2 win to the Hatters. Come on. Let's get it on with West Brom. Arbion. Whatever. Peace out.